So refresher of where we are. We did birth of earth. We did layers of earth or uh, spheres in earth, right? And now we're going to do societies on earth and their impacts. So we're going to start learning about more about impacts because from here on in, that's really what we're going to talk about. So who can name one of the three societies on earth? Hunter gatherers. Good. What else? Agricultural and industrial. Perfect. We're going to talk about each. So for each society, we're going to talk about some kind of general characteristics or something that defines the society, energy and resources used by the society, any like tools, weapons, or major discoveries. And then, the, of course, their environmental impact and their population because they go very, very, uh, they're correlated. You'll see. So give me anything on the page. Nomads. The general characteristics of hunter-gatherers is that they never settled. They never stayed in one place for too long because what they did was utilize whatever resources were found in that area. And eventually, we know if we use resources and resources, they're going to run out. And so they would move on. What else? Spears or sticks, stones, and bones. Correct. They used anything they could get their hands on from the land um, as tools in order to survive. What kind of energy did they use or what kind of resource? They used fire. Good. They used the sun and manpower. Awesome. And what kind of resources define sun, fire, and manpower? Renewable. I know sun is perpetual. So if you wanted to put perpetual slash renewable and put the word perpetual link to sun, feel free to do that. Um, Cause of course that makes sense. Perpetual. And go like this. Yes. Okay. And then what's their environmental impact or population size in comparison to the other societies? Cause that's what we're going to do is compare. So how do you think hunter gatherers population was small? small. Why? Why is important? Because we know overpopulation is the root cause to all environmental problems. So, huh? They had, well, that's why their population is low, right? But why did, good, limited resources, I'll take it. What else? Remember that they're nomadic. So they're moving from place to place, which means the resources that whatever that area provides is what they have, and then they have to go seek new ones. Well, how else do you see nomads living? They respected the earth more. They did. They respected the earth more than any other society. So if we ever were going to compare environmental impact, theirs was low. Can we say theirs didn't have any? No. They still affected the environment because they utilized resources in the area and moved on. But why was their population low besides limited resources? How do they live? They, why? They have small families because people die. They have li little or low lifespan, we could say. Technically, it's because they don't shower, believe it or not. They don't brush their teeth. Those things matter. So their, their lifespans were low. Even their birth rates, well, not their birth rates, their uh, infant mortality rates were high. So babe, birthing, think of birthing a child in the forest. It's not that easy, right? With no sanitation or medical supplies. So our next society is agricultural society. Give me anything on the page. Fire. 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 What else? Animals. Animals. Good. <laughs> so they switched from manpower to animal power. What kind of resource are we talking about now? Good. We, it's still renewable, but because we settled, see this word up here, we are now utilizing more resources in one area of land, not moving on, not giving it a chance to regenerate, so they're potentially renewable. What's the key word to describe agricultural society? Right here. Farmers. Good. We settled to farm to grow food. So technically, when we're growing food, um, we're going to stay in one place because now we could feed more people. So what else are the tools that farmers would utilize? Irrigation systems. Good. They formed governments. 
The, the agricultural society is actually defined by the invention of this tool, which is what? Sprinkling. This, the plow, good. And they use animals to move the plow so they got more land um, tilled, I guess you could say. And then they have a water mill. They formed towns, which led to government because they needed to have some form of structure. And this is just piggybacking on animal power. They learned how to use animals to benefit what they needed or to do what they needed them to do. So what's happening to a population in a, in a society that now has more food, they settled, they have towns, they have homes, they're increasing. And we know that if the population increases, the environmental impact increases as well, okay? They go together. They're directly correlated. So let's talk about these environmental impacts. Actually, before, let's talk about why the population's growing. So tell me two things. Two things. Better lifestyle. They take a shower. They brush their teeth. Yes. And what else? Good. More food. Bottom line. Those are the two things. They settled, so they started to uh, be able to provide more food for their families. And honestly, because they have the opportunities to provide food, they actually would consider children as a benefit to help, right, with their uh, growing of food. So they had children to work. So that was another one. All right, so our impact is increasing how? What, where do nomads live? Mountains or uh, forest. Where do agricultural societies live? Wherever they build stuff. And in order to build stuff, what do they do? They What? They cut down forests to provide lands, which are called grasslands or farmlands, if you want to use that word to better understand it. So they literally cut down the forest in order to make lands to grow crops on and build homes on, right? So this is definitely an abuse of land and resources because they're limiting resources and they're abusing the ones that they have on land. They increase waste in that process because they're settled. Anytime you are in one place, waste will definitely increase. And keep in mind that we already have a shift from renewable resources to potentially renewable resources, which is an environmental, uh, uh, problem in that sense.